Hey, it's Don the Arch Professor. Today I'm going to show you the most expensive coffee cup you can look for uh, that you should be able to find at some point. It's Death Wish Coffee. We're going to show you them. It's not a huge area, but every one I've ever found, I got good money, several hundred dollars for it. Most people never heard of it. Most people don't have a clue about it. It just looks like a regular ceramic coffee mug, like a stoneware wise. But we're going to go over the screen and we're going to talk about Death Wish Coffee right now. Okay, so just as the title says, this is basically the most expensive coffee mug you will find out thrifting that can give you the most money, the most return on your profit. There are some other ones that are extremely rare that just don't show up very often, but for the most part, the Death Wish Coffee Company, I find more than any of the other scarce ones. I don't find many of them, but at least I find several a year where I can get a good, decent return on my investment. Um, here's a perfect example of one. This is the St. Patty's Day one. They're all different designs. Many of these are actually hand numbered, signed on the bottom. This one went for $824.99. One coffee mug. They're all marked similar to this DeninePottery.com or Denine Pottery. You'll see hand thrown. They're very scarce, but they do show up. This is the one you always want to look for. I always look for the skulls. That always seems to be the best bet to find these when you're sourcing through. I found them at auctions. I found them at thrift stores, believe it or not, and antique malls sometimes too. Garage sales, you can turn them up. Church sales, wherever you go, these things can turn up. This isn't going to be a super long video because we're just centering it on this. There's other items from this, but the coffee mugs are what I find the most of. Here's a little set of them, four different ones. Again, same basic principle. They're all numbered and marked on the bottom. This one isn't even uh, matching numbers. That's usually what you want to look for on some of the better ones. But either way, a very nice set, 575 bucks for those four mugs. And these aren't, you know, oddball prices. These are literally what these items go for on a daily routine. This is a big tankard, and then um, they're calling it a shot glass. I'm not really sure if that's what you'd call it. Uh, but it's a really nice item. You can see, just looking in it, that it was um, coiled. It's a coiled piece. And you can see the coil marks. Now, on the outside, they're not as visible, but they didn't clean out the inside. It looks very legit. It's a nice piece. $549 for these two. Here's a good close-up of the label, or one of them. There's many. They're all individually hand-glazed, and the whole works. They remind me of old uh, hull pottery with the, the, the drip pattern that they have on it, in my personal opinion. Obviously different on here. They're not showing the bottom, unfortunately, but they all look pretty much the same. This one mug, 460 bucks. Now, I wouldn't mess with them if they're damaged or chipped just because there are other ones around. I just wouldn't mess with anyone that's chipped or cracked or flaking or anything typical coffee mugs four inches are standard on most every one i've seen the pottery company denin also makes other items too but the coffee mugs as i said this is what you're going to find because most people just think oh it's just a coffee mug i'm not going to worry about it this one isn't hand numbered either so there's many different kinds of these uh coffee cups just depends on which one you have they're not super old these are all newer items 500 bucks basically on this one. Another one. Some of these I really like. Um, Valhalla Java. Interesting, it's for a brand of coffee they had out at a specific time. Rather nice. I, I'm not a big coffee fan, so I can't specifically say, but I love the artwork and the stylization. They've made a niche for themselves that even reselling of their mugs gets you a huge return. 400 on this one. Here's another one, and this one was pretty neat too, I actually have to say. Um, they're, they're different, unique designs for the most part. Kind of horror-ish, uh, Beaster Bunny, Easter Tankard Mug, $399. This one's labeled, marked as well on the bottom. They're all not marked. Just a typical one can get you a pretty decent return e as well, even the 50 one, $50 ones. Another, the Headless Horseman Halloween one. This reminded me of the Headless Horseman with Johnny Depp or something along that line, personally. Or a, a cross between that and A Nightmare Before Christmas. Look these up. Spend, spend a minute or two just so you can see what I'm talking about. They're just typical mugs. I always just quickly look on the inside if, for some reason, I'm not sure... I've heard that there's fake ones of these, but I've never seen one, nor have I seen one for sale. So I would be shocked if there's fake ones of these yet. 370, 34 bits. The bids on the coffee items go horrendous. 
another one for 360 uh, Saratoga Coffee Traders. There's many different varieties. A lot of these are limited, uh, small runs. This one's 360 It's not as nice imagery as some of the other ones, or the color-wise isn't that great either. That's why this one went for a little less. Spend a few minutes looking at them, and you'll see the difference between the cheaper ones and the more expensive. Um, and as you look here, the shape is different too. This one's concave. It sinks in on the sides. Rather interesting. It's also drips. So the, the ones that are more than one color always seem to go for more as well too. $356. Again, I'm just showing you a touch on this. You're going to have to dig out there. If you're not finding them, there's no sense in, in digging. But at least know that these things exist. Because these are the most expensive coffee mugs I've ever sold in my life. They always net me a few hundred dollars if I get a limited one. Even if it's not limited, I can still net from 50 say, to a couple hundred dollars either way. So here's 320. It's like a little devilish character here. I thought it was kind of cute, actually. It's unique. That's the, the key. And again, they're convexed on the side a little bit on here. You can see how it swoops in uh, on the side here. And this drip pattern is really nice. I actually like this one, truthfully. Uh, it's more classical style of a coffee mug. Didn't go for as much as the majorly convex ones that are, you know, have the convex top with like a, a almost a mason jar uh, top mount area to it. This one had 52 bids, $320. All these two, for the most part, the buyer is paying shipping too, so just keep that in mind as well. Uh, $300 on another one, same basic Saratoga. This is a Christmas one. You can see the holly and berries on either side, and it's a skull with the Santa hat. Again, another limited edition one. There's a ton of these different kinds out there, so I, I wouldn't doubt that you've probably passed by one, saw it from the side, didn't think much of it, never heard of the brand. So uh, there's just a, a wide variety of stuff like this that's out there. I'm going to try and keep shooting you some otter ball items. Again, the more items you know, the better off you will be because you'll be able to make more money when you're going to the same places. When other people go and they don't know all these other items, they're limited to what they can buy. So you're, you're a step up if you're looking for all these other oddball items. So anyway, that's what we have for you. Well, there you go. That's another item that you can really score out on, uh, digging through the coffee mugs. I always dig through coffee mugs. This is the one specific one, the holy grail of what I personally find. I know there are more that sell for higher than this, but this is the most common high dollar one you should be able to find. But that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.